What's up guys? How's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. If you guys... What? Wait, what? What's that? You guys... There's a toque on my head? I don't... I don't see no toque. I have my luscious, glorious hair raining down on my face right now. Toque. Pfft. Whatever you guys are saying. You guys are crazy. I don't got a toque covering my... My, uh... My wild, wild hair that looks like crap today? No. No, you guys are crazy. You don't... Ugh. Toque. Whatever. Let's continue with this video. Crazy talk over here. Like I have a toque with a pong pong on it. Trying to cover up my bad hair today. Ah. <laughs> Do you guys see my hair? Oh my god. It's a mess. It has been an extremely long day today and... My hair just went to crap. I've been working. I've been exhausted. I've been getting no sleep. So I'm wearing a toque. Yes, the toque's covering my terrible, terrible hair today. And I do not want to record this way. So enjoy my little pong pong, my little push push, my little thingy. So anyways, guys, ignore the toque and let's continue into this video. We got a couple of updates and there's been an uproar or there's been a couple people, not really. There's not a big, big problem. There is some people whining about it, but honestly, guys, you guys want to be traded like JP? This is how JP got it. JP's VIP, all that. Let's talk about it. Here we go. We got boards. We got more boards, 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 and boards. Um, wow. It didn't pop up saying, hey, buy my jewels. I'm so surprised. Good job, Cena. Good job. Bet you the next time I log in, you're going to be like, buy jewels, please. Uh, let's see. Shop. What do we got in the shop? We got 21 hours left. So what does that mean in 21 hours? We're going to have a new deal. We're going to see what's coming out. Um, I was going to talk about some of the Sumsu medals and other medals coming out in the future. Just to get you guys all ready. But honestly, I haven't made my mind up about that. So I'd rather just let them hit and then we'll talk about them. I'm not too sure yet. But what do we got here, guys? We got four updates. Four updates. VIP upgrade quest. Not going to click on that. Not waste your time. That's just Chip Dale's upgrade your skills. It's a good little bit bonus added to it. Um, we got deluxe solo ranking and party ranking. So solo ranking, party ranking. Uh, score big in the solo rankings to earn magic gems. And the charity charm. That's the Taurus. So you get raid Omega raid boss perk plus 10. If you guys are new to the game, that's a skill... A banana skill, sorry. That's a raid paw. <laughs> the hat must be too tight. That is a raid boss perk. So if you wear this and you wear other ones with it, you can raise your Omega boss appearance chance. So the more Omega boss perk you have, the more of a chance that when you do summon a raid boss, it's an Omega raid boss. An Omega raid boss, more lux, better item drops, so on and so on. So these are really good if you get a bunch of these and different avatar parts, not just the earring, and stack up a lot of uh, Omega Raid perk. But besides that, we also got the crowds. The crowds got rare enemy perk plus four and plus two, depending on what kind of crowd you got. You got the gold, you got the better perk. You got silver, bronze, you got the worst perk. But either way, really good chance to actually do something with your party instead of just being dead and doing nothing, especially multiplayer. Uh, Still looking at that like it's a chore. They got to add something to it to make it feel a little bit better. But this is a really good chance to get along with your party. Try to make it to the top. If you do, you get the gold crown. Then you represent how much you and your party party actually care about each other. Not so much care about each other, but actually just how active is your party. You're about to find out. So we got the weekend raid boss. And we're probably going to have a new raid boss for this too. Let's continue into it. Raid event and cross union rank. And there you go. Monthly raid event. Defeat the raid boss to get the avatar parts. So what do we got? We got jewels. Oh. Co ooh. Okay, I just saw jewels in blue. And I'm like, ooh, fancy jewels. For this raid event, not only is there a new raid boss and reward filled raid boards. But there's also a cross union competition to earn jewels for the entire union. We've done this before. I believe we've done this before. The best union gets the most jewels, and I think I jumped unions to, <laughs> to get the jewels on my free-to-play account. On my main account, I didn't care too much, but on my free-to-play account, I'm like, spend the 100, jump over there, spend the week there, and jump back. But um, I don't know what the rules are now. I don't know what the consequences are for doing that or anything, if there is any. But there you go. The best union gets more jewels. Uh, let's see if it says it here. So this crab is going to, well, it's called a circus crab. Is there a picture of it? Eh... Uh, uh, they could have done a better job. I want to see it. I want to see it in game, though. I want to see it in game. But I love the glasses and the mustache, the the skies. That's pretty cool. 
let's see what else we got here. Earn raid coins from the raid boss, defeat the circus crab. We get uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D Soar party hat and the funny glasses for item jock perk. Okay, so those are not bad. Later on, it's gonna be better if you're obviously, like if you're farming for items and you want the enemy to drop an item. Let's say it's like during a quest, there's a certain quest that you can you can farm Fantasia Mickeys. And having more item jock perk means more Fantasia Mickeys appearing. So we got rating hours. Um, are they gonna show us how much jewels? There we go. First rank party union gets a thousand jewels. Oh, okay, so it, it, it's a free thousand jewels. So first party, whatever union you're in, most likely Volps is gonna win this again like they usually do. Uh, but there's also the unicorns and so on and so on. I'm in Ursus, so most likely we'll be fifth. If I actually put my big raiding pants on, we might make it in fourth place, but who knows. All right, either way guys, competition. Fight for your union. If your union makes top place, you get a thousand jewels. Second 600 and then you drop a hundred each one after that either way everyone's gonna get free jewels uh, Best Union wins should have picked the best Union <laughs> I'm kidding guys play what you want to play, but we got that monthly raid boss All right, so the part that everybody's been chit-chatting about while I was at work I just got off work about an hour ago. Um, actually Had no time to look at this. This is like new fresh with you guys. So let's look at this. I knew there is brooms in the VIP but I haven't looked at the notice itself so here we go we got one two three four five six seven brooms in the picture so their mistake with magic mirrors before they probably fixed that so seven brooms means one broom a day because it says daily magic broom challenge so limited time it's not gonna be here for every weekend I'm pretty sure or every VIP package it's gonna be once in a while unless I don't know Let's see, from April to 30th, who cares times? Magic brooms. During the campaign period, you can obtain special magic brooms. By completing the magic broom quests, which are unlocked by purchasing the VIP pack, for and you get 3,000 jewels, yada, yada, yada. You can obtain a total of seven magic broom medals by completing the seven magic broom quests. Oh, one quest will be available each day of the week. Please note that you cannot access quest bill from previous days. Oh, okay. So if you don't complete that day, you miss that broom. So make sure that you do the quest, just like other every other VIP. So do not screw up. If you if you buy VIP, make sure you do that daily quest. Uh, you'll take one broom by completing the quest. Be sure to purchase a weekly do early in the week to get the maximum amount of brooms. Obviously, if you're gonna pay the money, do it on the first day. And then they obviously teach you how to fuse the Mickey here. Magic broom metals are used to make the Fantasia Mickey B. Okay. So from what I hear, people are crying, saying, oh my god, pay to win, all that. And then we also got those people from before who are crying about, why aren't we like JP? Well guys, guess what? JP actually got the same exact treatment. This isn't something, oh, North America, they're trying to milk us. No, this is actually what JP got. This is nothing new. JP has this, guys. And then the good news is, later on, free-to-play players will get brooms. At least we got brooms now, guys. I know that it's only for people who pay for it right now, but this means that it's going to end up in the game, which it is, obviously, but there is going to be a free-to-play style to do it. So, knowing that, we shouldn't worry about the VIP being only brooms right now, because brooms will be released, avatar boards, coliseum, everything, guys. There will be ways to get brooms and making brooms, like full copies of making brooms, not just the broom servants, or in our case, magic brooms. We will be able to get the full Fantasia Mickey B, Available during avatar boards special times stuff like that There is a lot of way for free-to-play players or people who don't pay money in the game There's gonna be ways to use your jewels or ways to rank really high to actually get these uh, Making brooms, so don't worry about it guys um, Sure the introduction is VIP it seems like oh no only pay to win la la This just means that they're in the game and we're gonna get them in other ways Remember how I talk about early access when it comes to Minnie and Daisy and other stuff like that? Early access. These guys are paying for the early access of Mickey and Brooms. In this case, Mickey and Brooms are always going to have value. So early access just means more towards them because they can just get this Mickey and Broom, save it, stockpile a little faster than us. But in the end, guys, we're going to have a bunch too. The game will do its thing and we just got to be smart about it. So don't worry about it. Don't complain about it because at least they finally ended up in the game and this just means we're gonna get them Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about a thing guys. So That's it. There's nothing really talk about. There's not really to go over um, Recommendations for Mickey and Brooms guys Mercy pulls 
that give you three orbs, really good medals. Just throw through three making brews on there and you got yourself a really good one. Like Dark Riku would have been a really good one to keep. Um, future medals coming out. There's tons. Now you don't have to pull seven copies if that's one of those things. Or if you pull a three orb, you don't have to pull a second three orb. Just throw three of these bad boys on there and you're good to go. High score challenges again, guys. High score challenge. If you didn't compete or you couldn't make top 1,000, but you made like top 2,000 and you got the prize, you only need like three making brooms and boom, you guilt a high score challenge medal. So I would rec really, really, really recommend that you use your making brooms on really good tier four and tier five medals or save them for high score challenges save them for a bunch of things guys don't just use these to guilt anything especially tier threes now anything tier three or below should not be used with the making broom i know you guys are gonna ask oh should i use the making broom on my zig bar on my zaldin b it is very very rare occasion there's maybe like one or like a couple there's a handful of you guys that might want to do that because you have no jewels, you just started, you got Zigbar B somehow, and he's like one away from being guilted. Yeah, he's a really good one, but that Mickey Broom's value is gonna just keep carrying on where Zigbar is eventually gonna be useless or Zelda B is eventually gonna be useless. So you gotta think about long term and do you wanna be stuck later on? Right now you might suffer a little bit, you might miss a couple things, but not as much as a Mickey Broom. So don't use your Mickey Brooms on just anything. Use your making brooms on something that's going to really, really, really help you guys. Also, also, big, big, uh, this is a big one. So you know how we've been getting VIP? And let's say the last one. We got the King, Donald, and Goofy, right? You get four a week. So you get four copies here, four copies here for the total of 40 bucks for me. Uh, that's Canadian. So that's eight copies. But now that we have making brooms introduced, if... The VIP medal is really, really good, and you don't want to buy both weekends or both weeks VIP, so you don't want to spend the 40. Spend the one VIP and then throw three making brooms on it. There you go, guys. You don't have to buy both of the VIP packs now to actually guilt these premium medals. You can just buy one and throw down three making brooms, and there you go. You got yourself a guilted premium medal. That's if they continue their whole shenanigans of using two VIP packs instead of just one to actually guilt these medals. We'll see, they might change it later, but if they continue with two VIPs to actually guilt these premium medals, just buy one VIP and throw down three making brooms. There you go, guys. Half price premium medals. <laughs> so, enjoy, be happy, brooms are in the game. Uh, rating, have fun with your party, guys. If you're not having fun with the game, then what's the point of playing? So definitely talk with your party, get ready for those hours, be ready, uh, pop up your raid bosses, like five minutes before don't attack them yet just ready summon everything and then just go ape don't forget to lux boost lux boost is still a thing i know there's not much lux ranking going on but make sure to lux boost accordingly to your parties to help them out the even if you don't play and you log in just for your daily juice find out what their lux hour is and just lux boost for your party for those who actually are playing give them a little bit of love to give them that five percent trust me it makes a big difference and especially going to help their solo ranking so don't forget if you are part of party and you're only logging in to get the jewels at least lux boost for them besides that everybody enjoy lux farming it's going to be fun hopefully i get to help my party out i i know you guys hate me probably because i'm so bad at like actually competing for lux ranking but i'll try my hardest if as long as i got time i will lux farm I know you're watching right now. I know you're like, this guy's not going to help us this whole rating week. He's going to do absolutely nothing. I might surprise you. I might actually bust my ass off coming to the, into this. I want us to get a good place. I want to try to make a, our union hit fourth place. Um, I know I'm just one guy and I would have to farm like 2 billion lux to make a difference. But you never know. I do have a really good setup on my main account now, and we do have the new Winnie the Pooh avatar boards. Don't forget about that. Attack Boost 3 and Lux Plus. If you do have that KDG medal and you have raid damage on it, whew, you're going to kill the Lux rankings, guys. Lux rankings is going to be a huge competition right now. But anyways, guys, brooms. Brooms, Lux ranking again. Have fun. Enjoy. Um... Don't talk about my head. <laughs> I don't want to see the full comment section just going, oh man, did you see that terrible toque he was wearing? I know, it's pretty bad. It's got a little fluffy thing though. I, I like it. I like these hats. They, they It feels weird. 
feels like a little snowball in the back of my head. I love it. I absolutely love this. If you guys don't recognize what it is already, it's uh, supposed to be Jack Skeleton, but they did a terrible job on the eye placement, so it looks really, really weird. But it's supposed to be Jack Skeleton. Um, I absolutely love Nightmare Before Christmas, if you guys didn't know that. It's one of my favorite movies, and you're going to see a lot of hats that I have are Jack Skeleton, Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally, all that. That's why I love my Jack and Sally medal. I love any medal they're going to pull from Nightmare Before Christmas. I can't wait for new ones to come out. But yeah, uh, bad hair day, long day, but I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I hope everything went well for you guys. Um, for those of you who are buying VIP, uh, again, be smart with what you're going to use that Mickey and Broom on. It has so much value. Even though we have traits, Mickey and Brooms are still super good. Guilty in a metal is hands down huge power spike. So be careful what you do with it. Again, do what you want, whatever you want. It's your game. Have fun. But there are so many possibilities with it. For everyone else, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.